Go Enhance AI has been released, which is a competitor to Domo AI, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Keep watching because later in the video, I'll share my thoughts on how Go Enhance compares to Domo AI. To get started, head to goenhance.ai and click on try for free and log in with a Google account. Once logged in, it's very easy to get started converting your videos to different art styles. There's a section on the left to upload a video. Under style, you have the ability to select a number of different art styles. And you can probably tell that Go Enhance AI has a big focus on anime art styles with a number of different options to choose from. I love that there's the ability to increase the duration of videos from three seconds all the way up to 20 seconds, depending on the plan. Of course, with all AI platforms, there's the ability to add a seed number from generated videos to keep the style consistent when creating new ones. To get the seed number, hover over the eye icon and the seed number will come up. There's also options to download videos, regenerate a new version, and upscale the quality to 2K. This version is an origami art style. This one is pop art. Here's 3D art style like Pixar. Let's go ahead and upload a video and see how Go Enhance AI does. I'm gonna make the duration five seconds and I'm gonna select pop art style. Here's the original. Here it is in pop art style. I purposely used an older movie, which was in black and white, because I was curious whether or not Go Enhance would also colorize it, just to make the challenge a little bit tougher, but it definitely did, and it looks good. Go Enhance AI also has a picture upscaler with lots of custom options. You can choose between a real life and anime style art options. There's a creativity slider. The more you increase it, the more detail will be added, but at the expense of moving away from the original image. And as I increase this slider, you can see that it changes the amount of detail. There's HDR, which is pretty self-explanatory, and the more that you enhance the slider, the more artificial the image can appear. So it becomes a little bit more pixelated or speckled, as Go Enhance likes to refer to it. Resemblance means moving the slider changes the style of the original image. So if I move it downward, it looks less like the original. The scale factor is a slider which can increase or decrease the image resolution. And you can even add your own prompt or a negative prompt to tweak your uploaded image further. Let's see what Go Enhance can do when taking a cartoon image and asking it to convert it into real life. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave all of the options as default. Let's go ahead and see what it does. Here's the finished image. It definitely upscaled it, but it didn't turn it into a real life image. Here's an example of what Go Enhance AI shows that its image enhancer can do. They've taken some GTA 6 style images from Midjourney and they've uploaded into their image enhancer. It might have just been the image that I selected, so just keep that in mind. When it comes to pricing, Go Enhance AI gives you 45 credits to start, but even their basic plan provides the ability to create 40 videos a month. So how does Go Enhance compare to Domo AI? Go Enhance is much more user friendly because with Domo AI, you need to have a Discord account, which has an additional learning curve. Whereas Go Enhance AI even provides you with tutorials to get started. Domo AI has more variety when it comes to the number of art styles to select. There's also the ability to convert images into real life art styles as well, or turn them into moving videos. For me, Domo AI still has the slight edge, but I can't wait to see how both services evolve over time. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments. And if you're just hearing about Domo AI for the first time, I created a video about it, which you can click on right here.